when it comes to production projects, for the most part, people are content with just doing this point and shoot video like I'm doing right now. But there is a lot of value in being able to give customers a different perspective that allows them to perceive you in even a better way. So today I wanna to talk about a couple of examples on how you can combine aerial and ground footage to really enhance a production project and captivate your viewers' attention. The first thing I wanna talk about is something I've been doing for a while, and that's capturing conversations or interactions or even just general nonverbals of people communicating from ground level and above. A lot of times when you're interviewing somebody or just talking in general, maybe selling somebody like a car salesman or maybe just talking to a grandson, you have that close up video of that interaction itself, right? But there's a level of serenity from the sky. If you're flying by really smoothly, I mean, you could still zoom in so it doesn't have to seem far away, but you're able to see the nonverbals, those interactions, the facial expressions, the body posture, the way that they engage with each other. It brings that conversation or interaction to a whole new level. So think of it this way, you have grandpa and grandson maybe walking down a dirt road, maybe have him putting his hand around his shoulder, picking something up that he dropped. That peaceful flyover really paints a picture of that scene. And then you're able to switch to a ground level of that front view that's an authoritative view looking up at both of them and that allows you to see the two people a lot more clearly for who they are and what their role is in that relationship. Even for a business video, you're able to see how confident somebody might be walking, talking, explaining something, and then even the way that another person might be receiving that information all just from a broader point of view. Another way to combine aerial and ground footage is one of those obvious production projects, which is like a property listing or maybe showcasing a venue or the layout of a space, right? Taking a whole bunch of pictures from the ground is great. Now, I mean, especially if you have a really good photographer that's able to get the right angles and details and has good lenses. But when you look at something from the sky, you're able to see that organization, the structure, the layout in totality. If there's an entry point into a building that isn't as obstructed or there is an obstructed view of a pathway that maybe goes into a side entrance, you know, what's it look like from the sky? If you're walking through the woods and the trees are covering everything and you're able to come up out of that and be able to see where those people actually are, is it rural? Is it urban? Is it just right around the corner from an urban area? And if you offer a property or a venue or any space of convenience for that matter, and you're able to show how well it's put together from the sky, that really enhances the perceived value of that location. Another amazing way that you can encompass an aerial and ground view is just being able to provide a really cool or creative intro to the video itself. So if you have a business or a special occasion that's coming up or a grand opening for that matter, if you're able to just maybe fly over the trees, show that sign, show that entry point, parking lot, customers engaging, or thousands of people like ants on the anthill before zooming into the action, that's really gonna engage people and make them wanna see, hey, what, what's going on down there? It's basically a super appealing preview, right? You're not in there yet. So it kind of gives you a little excitement or it builds up a little bit of anticipation to see what the rest of the video is about. Or if you're going the next day, if it's an event or something, now you're able to kind of preview it, right? I think one of the most popular ways people use aerial and ground footage is when you're wanting to look at, inspect, or investigate something that's off the ground. Things like a bird's nest, you could look at it from the ground and it's going to look totally different from above. You know, what about a roof inspection? You know, what's going on on my roof up here? What's going on on my roof up at the house, the office? the shop what's the intricate details of those roofs where's the crevices is there a chimney what's other things that may be obstructed from my view on the ground right you know if somebody's yelling down at me from the window i could see from the ground but what do they look like eye level what about architecture just looking up at a building from the top down or from below is a lot different what about carnival somebody getting on a ride and then somebody on the ferris wheel are you able to get both of those shots and how are you painting that picture with both of those angles together even think of a waterfall i bet the water is a lot more calm at the top than it is at the bottom. How cool would it be to skim down a waterfall? What about driving, biking, traveling in general? You see that car go by and then you're actually traveling with that vehicle showing where it's going. Even if you're walking through the woods, like I mentioned before, that perspective in the midst of the thick of the woods is a lot different than above the trees. You might just see little portions of people as you're flying over versus being able to have clarity there at the bottom. And the last way to combine ground and air footage would be really to communicate an idea. You know, if you're trying to show something, explain something, prove something, or just better detail something, having different vantage points really helps. Being able to pull somebody out of the space that they're in and get them to understand that we're changing something right now or moving to a new idea or topic, right? And we're communicating that is extremely important. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys.